lovers, it's me again, Reen, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on yet, no concealer, no foundation, no whatsoever. The only thing I put on my face right now is actually this VLK Color Adapting Lip Oil. So this is the first thing that I put on my lips before putting makeup on. Para lang to give my lips a little bit of color and hydration. But for today's vlog, we are doing a fresh and easy Morena makeup tutorial. It usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do this this super fit for tan skin people like me. So I recently discovered a lot of makeup products also and it's super nice and we're all about updating our makeup kit. So today I'll be sharing just that. But before we start, you know what to do. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. So I know I don't usually put foundation on but since I have an event later, we will be using a very very light skin tint. And honestly, this makeup is also good for every Day. If you want it a little bit lighter, I can share it to you kung ano yung mga steps sa pwede nyong bawasan. So first things first, primer. Very, very important for me when I put foundation or powder on my face para lang to really keep everything in place. I use this one. This is Benefit Professional Pearl Primer. Okay, so for whole day events or ganaps, I usually use thicker foundation, but for today, I'm choosing skin tint and I use two. This one is the NARS Skin Tint in shade San Moritz, so medium one siya. And the other one is this, Romy Dream Skin Tint in shade medium tan. So for today, I'll use Romy. Usually just put a little bit of this. I used to mix foundation and serum together, but skin tits now, meron na silang serum or it's way lighter, so I don't need to do that step anymore. Just do this. It's so light on the skin. It just really makes your skin look poreless, but also letting your skin breathe still. And then I am actually using Sunny's face brush. This is for their liquid foundation, and I love that they have this one. So that under my eyes and sa edges ng nose ko, I can use this one. Usually, this part of my nose is a little bit darker or a little bit redder. So I also put concealer here. So this is from Sunny's Face Skin So Good Powder in shade Cassava. Also using your brush. Up to you if you want to put the skin tint and powder combo. I like doing it because I feel like my makeup really stays in place. But if you want to skip the powder or go straight to the powder and skip the foundation, okay lang din naman. Depends also on your skin if it's like oily or dry. Usually if it's dry, then go for the skin tint. Or usually if it's oily, you can go with just the powder straight. But for me, since I'm normal skin, <laughs> I like to use both. Super pantasya sa skin color ko, like hindi siya super obvious. Happy Skin Fresh Morning Dew Micro Fine Matte Setting Spray. I'm gonna use this again like once my makeup's done, but for now I just wanna spray a few to keep my foundation and powder intact. I bought this during the pandemic, still so handy, I use it all the time. Pwede pa siya maging floor fan. Like, and it has different settings. So usually when I put makeup on inside the bathroom, this is always turned on. Okay, concealer. Haven't changed my concealer still. I use Happy Skin Multitasking Serum Concealer and Shade Soft Beige. Super love this product. I feel like it's very light on the skin since my serum sha, but really does its job. So usually when I go to the beach, I just use this one. I don't put the powder and foundation on. Straight to concealer, cheat tint, lip balm or lipstick and I'm good to go. Just a few weeks ago, I went to Palawan and didn't do check-in anymore. Hand carry lang kami ni Maggie. And the only makeup that I brought was lipstick, multi-use mousse for my cheeks, my eyes, and concealer. And I didn't even reach 7 kilos. Contour stick, this is from Rare Beauty. This is a bronzer stick with shade Good Energy. So here. Sponge. So before, I would just go straight with a bronzer mismo na powder. But I realized when you use contour stick first, it makes a huge difference. Why it blends more.
you already see na kanina na medyo flat dahil foundation lang yung itsura. Now, it's a little bit more defined because of the bronzer stick. So now, let's move on to my Essie and Company palette. So this is basically a customizable palette. I think they call it the face palette. Eyeshadows, blush, highlighter, contour, iba, -iba yan. So this is my palette. This is what I usually bring also when I have a smaller makeup kit. Everything you need is already here. So for eyeshadow colors, it's usually just these two, brown or medjo mauve color kasi yun talaga yung bagay sa skin tone ko. And then blush in the middle, highlighter and contour on the side. So I have everything here. For my cheeks, before actually putting the blush powder, I use this one first. And this is my favorite. So again, I have an event later. That's why I'm putting relatively a lot more makeup than I usually do. But if no event, usually cream-based everything lang ako. So I skip the powder parts. The BLK color stick and shade Mauve here on my cheeks. Patting it upwards also, not straight. And disclaimer lang, I am not a makeup expert and a makeup artist. I do this for fun and I think this makeup that I'm sharing with you guys, it's usually the makeup I put on my face na I get a lot of compliments talaga. Cheeks! Done! So since I love mini-sized everything, even ito, maliit. So this is NARS Blush in shade Orgasm. Although I think super ganda rin ito, I'm just using this one. But I also love this. This is the NARS Dolce Vita. So I tried it on and I really, really like it also. The Orgasm is just a little bit more pinkish. But if you put it on your skin, super ganda rin Dolce Vita. So I don't want to open both at the same time. So I'm just using Orgasm and then switching to Dolce Vita after. I know that a lot of makeup artists also choose to put on eyeshadow first. But for some reason, ito yung kinasanayan ko, like cheeks first. <laughs> so I went for this. Okay. And I also forgot to mention earlier, since we're talking about base, if I want a really nice foundation, yun talagang for an all day event because I know I use skin tints but for long wear I choose these so this is the Estee Lauder double wear this one is the double wear flawless hydrating primer and then this one the double wear sheer long wear makeup primer actually has SPF 45 and the foundation has SPF 20 sorry super overused na niya, but for my eyebrows I love this one this is the K palette real lasting eyebrow for 24 hours so since my hair is darker I'm not sure if you guys noticed but I dyed my hair a little bit black grayish black sha in real life actually but in cameras and in photos it more or less photographs as black na but since i'm getting married in a few months <laughs> dinar ko na muna yung color ko again next time tayo maging experimental after the wedding maybe i love this because it's very very light but you really see the difference and the little point yeah it really just seems like a stroke so how i do it is upwards not super strong but you see the difference right so it kind of fills all the gaps of the areas na wala akong hair strands. Then I brush it with a spoolie upwards first. Okay, and then I use eyebrow mascara. But I'm not sure if this is actually the brand. It's Heavy Rotation Coloring Eyebrow. It's in Japanese here, but the shade is B26. It just makes your eyebrows a little bit softer or it's not super strong. Moving on to eyeshadow. So I'm going for that bronze morena glow. For my eyeshadows, I am using Chanel Beauty. This is the multi-effect quadra eyeshadow and the shades are medium, clear light, and dark. So iba iba yung shades inside and it's a little bit glittery since it's a little bit glittery. I am gonna use this one. For now, we are gonna start with just a darker shade. A little bit lang. When you check the eyeshadow palette, it may seem dark, but once you put it on your eyes, it really just looks a little brownish. Here you go. And then a little bit of shimmer. I think I will go with this one. Usually, pag glitter eyeshadows, I like using my fingers. Mm. 
And usually if I want my eyes to look a little bit bigger pa, I use this one. Although I think with this one, <laughs> super tagal yung collection, so baka it's not available anymore. This is the NARS Erdem collaboration. This is their multi-use highlighting pencil. Super tagal na ito, but I still use it because I love it so much. And then for eyeliner, I usually choose between brown or black. So black pag medyo mas ma emphasize yung eyes more, gusto mong mas pansin. But if you want like a softer look or finish, then go for brown. I think for today, I'll use brown. But just for reference, I super love Heroin Make eyeliner. So this one is waterproof. It's smooth liquid eyeliner. And for the black one, this is super waterproof. Grab it, hindi lang siya waterproof. Super waterproof. Prime liquid eyeliner, rich heat. So for heroin make liquid eyeliners, they have two shades of brown. Ito yung binili ko. So parang medyo metallic pink yung finish na. And I don't usually go for super wing tip. Parang slight lang yung eyeliner ko. Not super pantai, but this will do. I think I did a good job, the man. And for the mascara, discovered this during the pandemic. This is Maybelline Lash Sational Sky High. So they have different kinds, but I am using Blackest Black. And it really lengthens your lashes. Because usually when I remove my makeup at night, like meron siyang mga black hairy bits na <laughs> natatanggal. So I think this has like microfiber that makes your lashes a little bit longer pa than your actual lashes. There, almost done. Highlighter and lipstick na lang. Oh, highlighters talaga. For that shine on your face. Lip liner, BLK in shade tights. There. Next that I want to try actually, na nandito na, is Sunny's Face Lip Tracers. So I traced outside of my lips. And for my lipstick, this is from Estee Lauder, shade 567 Knowing. And I mix it with Sunny's Face Baked. Usually if I want light lipstick or gusto ko ng mga lip tint lang, this is what I use. Super duper nice. This is the Dior Lip Tint in shade Natural Tea, 4 to 1. And then as a topper, I am going to be using this. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer in 001. Just to give it a glossy finish. And that's it! And that's it! I am gonna go change into my event outfits and head out. But I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. I know I haven't done one in a long time. So I hope you guys like this one. Please. Do not forget to leave some love, like, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet. Para updated kayo sa lahat ng videos ko for now. Bye guys! See you in my next vlog.